Optic neuritis is a demyelinating inflammation of the optic nerve. It is also known as optic papillitis and retrobulbar neuritis. It is most often caused by multiple sclerosis, and it may lead to complete or partial loss of vision in one or both eyes. Partial, transient vision loss can be an indication of early-onset multiple sclerosis. Other possible diagnoses include diabetes mellitus, low phosphorus levels, or hyperkalemia. Signs and symptoms. Major symptoms are sudden loss of vision, sudden blurred or foggy vision and pain on movement of the affected eye. Early symptoms that require investigation include symptoms from multiple sclerosis. Episodes of disturbed, blackened, rather than blurry indicate moderate stage and require immediate medical attention to prevent further loss of vision. Other early symptoms are reduced night vision, light sensitivity and regular bloodshot eyes. Many patients with optic neuritis may lose some of the color vision in the affected eye, with colors appearing subtly washed out compared to the other eye. Patients may also experience difficulties judging movement in depth which can be particularly troublesome during driving a sport. Likewise transient worsening of vision with increased of body temperature and glare disability are a frequent complaint. However, several case studies in children have demonstrated the absence of pain in more than half of cases in the pediatric study population, with the most common symptom reported simply as blurriness. Quote, other remarkable differences between the presentation of adult optic neuritis as compared to pediatric cases include more often unilateral optic neuritis in adults, while children much predominantly present with bilateral involvement. On medical examination the head of the optic nerve can easily be visualized by a slit lamp with high plus by using direct ophthalmoscopy. However, frequently there is no abnormal appearance of the nerve head in optic neuritis, though it may be swollen in some patients. In many cases, only one eye is affected and patients may may not be aware of the loss of color vision until they are asked to close or cover the healthy eye. Etiology The optic nerve comprises axons that emerge from the retina of the eye and carry visual information to the primary visual nuclei, most of which is relayed to the occipital cortex of the brain to be processed into vision. Inflammation of the optic nerve causes loss of vision, usually because of the swelling and distress of the male lynchith covering the optic nerve. The most common etiology is multiple sclerosis or ischemic optic neuropathy. Blood clot that supplies the optic nerve. Up to 50% of patients with MS will develop an episode of optic neuritis, and 20 to 30% of the time optic neuritis is the presenting sign of MIS. The presence of demyelinating white matter lesions on brain MRI at the time of presentation of optic neuritis is the strongest predictor for developing clinically definite MIS. Almost half of the patients with optic neuritis have white matter lesions consistent with multiple sclerosis. Some other common causes of optic neuritis include infection, autoimmune disorders, pinch in optic nerve, methanol poisoning, B12 deficiency and diabetes. Injury to the eye, which usually does not heal by itself. Less common causes are papilledema, brain tumor or abscess in occipital region, cerebral trauma, a hemorrhage, meningitis, arachnoidal adhesions, sinus thrombosis, liver dysfunction or late-stage kidney. Demyelinating recurrent optic neuritis and non-demyelinating. The repetition of an idiopathic optic neuritis is considered a distinct clinical condition, and when it shows demyelination, it has been found to be associated to anti-MOGNAQ P4 negative neuromyelitis optica. When an inflammatory recurrent optic neuritis is not demyelinating, it is called chronic relapsing inflammatory optic neuritis. Neuropathy. 
when it is anti-MOG related, it is demyelinating and it is considered inside the anti-MOG associated inflammatory demyelinating diseases. Treatment and prognosis. In the vast majority of MS associated optic neuritis, visual function spontaneously improves over the first two to three months, and there is evidence that corticosteroid treatment does not affect the long term outcome. However, for optic neuritis that is not MS associated, the evidence is less clear, and therefore the threshold for treatment with intravenous corticosteroids is lower. Intravenous corticosteroids have also been found to reduce the risk of developing MS in the following two years in those patients who have MRI lesions, but this effect disappears by the third year of follow-up. Paradoxically it has been demonstrated that oral administration of corticosteroids in this situation may lead to more recurrent attacks than in non-treated patients. This effect of corticosteroids seems to be limited to optic neuritis and has not been observed in other diseases treated with corticosteroids. A Cochrane systematic review studied the effect of corticosteroids for treating participants suffering from optic neuritis. Treatments reviewed included intravenous methylprednisone, oral methylprednisone, and oral prednisone. All treatments reviewed did not show any benefit in terms of recovery to visual acuity, contrast sensitivity, or visual feel. In the longer term, there is evidence that patients with MS who first present with optic neuritis have a relatively more benign MS course. Epidemiology Optic neuritis typically affects young adults ranging from 18 to 45 years of age, with a mean age of 30 to 35 years. There is a strong female predominance. The annual incidence is approximately 5 one-hundred-thousandths, with a prevalence estimated to be 115 one-hundred-thousandths. Society and Culture In the Season 5 episode of Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Season of Miracles, Rev. Timothy Johnson is struck blind by optic neuritis on Christmas Day, 1872. He remains blind for the duration of the series. In Charles Dickens' Bleak House, the main character, Esther Somerville suffers from a transient episode of visual loss with symptoms also observed during the course of optic neuritis. Sir William Searle Holdsworth suggested Bleak House to have taken place in 1827.